I'm going to walk you through my network rack setup one piece at a time. And the second piece is this USW Pro Max 48. It's the mother of all network switches with 48 ports where 32 of them are gigabit ethernet and 16 of them are 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports. It's connected to the router by a little short SFP plus patch cable coming from the SFP plus port on the router to the one on the switch. And there's a couple spares there as well, which provide 10 gigabit ethernet connection. One thing I really love about these switch ports is that they have what's called ether lighting, which is some backlighting. So when you're using ethernet cables that have clear plugs, you can see that it lights up the whole plug. And this has some pretty useful application. A plug that's lit white shows that it has gigabit ethernet connection. If it's lit yellow, then it means that it has fast ethernet connection, but not gigabit. And then if it's lit blue, it indicates that it has 2.5 gigabit ethernet connection. Even though the last set of 16 ports that you can see here are 2.5 gigabit ethernet capable, it depends on the device that's connected to them, whether or not they will actually experience those speeds and whether they will light up that way. As always, this device is secured to my network rack using these patch box dev mounts, which I highly recommend. Below this, you can see this brush panel. You can use a patch panel, but I think brush panels are better, especially when you have a lot of devices and a lot of cables going through them. You don't need to have multiple patch panels. I want to quickly show you what this switch looks like in the app because it gives you a visual representation of each port and they color it based on the speed of the connection. So green is gigabit ethernet. The yellowy green is fast ethernet, but not gigabit. And the blue is 2.5 gigabit ethernet. There's also a light blue, which is 10 gigabit ethernet. And that's those SFP plus ports on the right side of the switch. If you tap one of the ports, you can see that it shows what device is connected to that port. So you can see that if I tap port one, it's my Synology NAS, and that's limited at one gigabit because of the port. So I probably should move that over to a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port so that I get higher speeds since that's where I run my Plex server. If I tap port three, you can see that it's my Philips Hue hub or Philips Hue bridge that's connected to that. And that doesn't need faster than fast ethernet. And that's limited by that hub itself. You can see port 41 is Roxy, which is my main PC. And of course I want that as high speed as possible. So if I tap a port that's unused and then I tap the locate button, it will actually light that port up blue so that you can see that port. So in a really complex setup or in an industrial application, when you just need to find that port as soon as possible, this might be a really handy feature.